Hey guys, if you're watching this video, you may have recently purchased a Titraline 7000 unit from us, or maybe you're thinking about doing so. Either way, we're going to go through all the steps of setting up the hardware from A to Z and show you how simple it is. We've got three main components of the system. The first one being the Titraline 7000 base unit. So this is essentially the brain of the system, and all of the accessories that you see here will come along with that. The next part is the exchangeable burette. So this is the slide on, slide off, modular burette option that we offer, and all the tubing comes along with that. The final portion is the magnetic stir. We're going to take a look at the back panel of the titrator. The main power supply will get plugged into the in 12 volt port as so. The magnetic stir cable will get connected by one end into the out port here, and the other end into the in port of the magnetic stir. Now's a good time to plug in any USB devices that you may have. One example is the mini keyboard that comes with all of our titrators. You can plug this into any of the USB ports that we have. A manual controlled mouse also comes with all of our units, but in this case we're actually going to skip it because we're going to be running auto titrations. The last thing to set up here is the electrode cable, so we'll just plug that into the DIN port on the bottom left hand side. Once that's done, you're ready to turn it on. Just a few more steps to get the magnetic stirrer set up. So you'll take your stainless steel rod and the clamp and just put it right over and secure it in place. Now you can take the stainless steel rod and put it on top of the stirrer and just thread it in. And then you can take your titration clamp and just lay it right down. The third main component of the system is the burette, so we'll get that assembled now. You'll see that all of your tubing is already pre-connected to the three-way valve. So we'll just get the valve snapped into the valve support right on this side. The black lip should go right into the valve support in a certain way, so take a look and make sure everything is lined up before you click it into place. As so. And then you can take your valve cover and just snap it on top. And now you're ready to slide this onto the base unit. So we'll line up the sides here and just push down at a 45 degree angle until you hear a click. Now we can get the rest of the tubing finalized. The tube on the far left side will go into the burette reservoir where the titrin is going to be. So just pull that through the bottle and then screw the thread on top. You'll do the same for the other tube that goes from the back onto the top of the burette. And the last tube with the titrant tip will just go right on top of the titration clamp like that. Depending on your application, you may be working with hygroscopic reagents, such as sodium hydroxide, which basically means they absorb moisture from the air. So you'll want to put some desiccant in the desiccant tube and put that on top of your bottle. The final step to getting your complete titrator set up is your electrode. Now, you may be using a number of electrodes. In this case, we're just going to be working with a simple pH combination electrode. This is our blue line 11. So you'll take the other end of your electrode cable and just connect it to the top of your probe. And you'll take your probe and put it on top of the clamp like so. And it's as simple as that. Thanks for watching.